Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make camarones al mojo de ajo, which is a garlic butter shrimp. Um, super yummy, and you guys, another dish, 30 minutes. So stay tuned and let me show you how. So your first step is of course to wash and salt and pepper your shrimp. You wanna heat up some oil. And you want to do this on medium to high heat and you want to go ahead and sear your shrimp. What I did is I butterflied them and I did leave the shell on you guys. Um, these are like Mexican garlic butter shrimp and honestly this is the best way. And if they're already deveined, it's not hard to pull them off the shell and believe me the flavor is different. It's definitely worth it or I wouldn't be doing it and showing you guys, I promise. Um, so go ahead and try this method. Now if you cannot find any with the shell on, of course the one without the shell is going to be just fine. But this is just a tip to make these type of shrimp just taste so much tastier. I promise you guys, if you try it, you're gonna love it. So like I said, just make sure that they are fully dry before you do this. That way you can get a good sear and do not overcrowd your pan. If you have to do this in two batches, go ahead and do so. And that is actually what I did. I cooked them for about three to four minutes on medium high heat until I got a sear just like that. And then go ahead and remove them from the pan and then um, I went ahead and I cooked um, the second half like I said you don't want to overcrowd your pan if you dump them all in I'm always telling you guys what's gonna happen is your shrimpies are gonna get steamed you're not gonna get that beautiful steam or that wonderful like texture that shrimp get when they're seared and that's the only way to get it if you cook these in butter um you're just not gonna get this so uh, this is the way that i like to do it is just give them a really good sear and then go ahead and remove them from the pan when you're done doing that you want to go ahead and wipe the pan off otherwise your other ingredients will burn so i went ahead and i wiped it down with a paper towel and then i added extra olive oil i minced about i want to say one fourth of a yellow onion and you guys you have to mince this super tiny like if you were getting like <laughs> grated on mincing um onion <laughs> so that is exactly what i did i just chopped it super tiny almost invisible <laughs> like chef ramsey is gonna come and like judge you and be like who perpetrated this onion <laughs> so go ahead and just chop it up as small as you can and cook it until translucent which is about three to five minutes now, once we do that, we can add my favorite ingredient of all time. You guys already know, I chopped up about, I'm not gonna lie, this was about um, eight garlic cloves, but you can do four to six, depending on how much you like it. And what I did is I just sliced them thin. At this point, you guys, lower your heat. So put this on low and add a stick of butter because butter makes everything better and this is garlic butter shrimp basically that's what camarones al mojo de ajo translates to um so yeah just go ahead and cook this on super low we want to go ahead and soften and cook down our garlic without burning it you do not want to get any color on these garlics otherwise it will be bitter and it changes the color now i do like you know a little flavor <laughs> why not I um I added a tiny pinch of red crushed red pepper flakes and I believe this was about I want to say half a teaspoon and then like th my Mexican ancestors spoke to me and were like Janet go ahead you know you want to add some more <laughs> so I did go ahead and I added another um, full teaspoon because you know I just like it spicy, you guys. <laughs> so I did go ahead and add additional crushed red pepper, but um, it's totally up to you. I want to say half a teaspoon is good enough to give you the flavor, but if you add another full teaspoon, it's definitely going to give you that kick. If you like, you know, spicy food, mom, cover your ears. My mom hates it when it's spicy. <laughs> um, but yeah, go ahead and cook this down and give it a good mix. Like I said, the whole time low heat 
Um, now, once it's time to add the shrimp back in, you can crank up the heat up to medium just to go ahead and finish cooking these off. Um, they are seared, but I don't know if you can tell, like they're a little bit gray, kind of by the tail area. So you want to go ahead and press that down a little bit just to make sure that they get that heat and that they finish cooking off in the garlic butter sauce. This is going to make all the difference, you guys. Um, this is what's going to infuse your shrimpies with all that flavor. And if there's any juice left, add that in because you already know that's flavor and we don't waste any of that here. <laughs> so go ahead and give it a good mix. I added some fresh parsley and then I added some salt and pepper that is to your liking you guys always to your liking but always taste your food because you can always add but you cannot take it out um, and then um, yeah go ahead and give it a good mix and make sure that that delicious garlic butter sauce is on every side of those shrimpies and then i like to finish off with a little squeeze of lemon and yeah you want to go ahead and plate this i used um white rice but you can also you guys add some pasta you know italian night <laughs> um but yeah i just wanted to pair it with white rice because i love this sauce once it hits the white rice like oh my gosh you guys like you have to try this like this is it doesn't just look good like it's as good as it looks <laughs> i'm pretty sure that if you make this for your family they're gonna absolutely love it so just have them help you um help you um what do you call it peel the garlic <laughs> yeah that should be their homework um and yeah you guys uh, make sure that you add some extra sauce on top and if you want you can also serve this with some extra lemon wedges it is to die for i promise you guys this has like the janet seal of approval <laughs> like it's a 10 out of 10 if somebody walks in and smells this they're gonna be like what are you making it's really that delicious you guys you guys know that i love shrimp and i love garlic and this basically marries the two so go ahead and give it a shot <laughs> So we're at the end and I just want to thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe. It helps me grow and also leave me a nice comment. I said nice. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.